Hey guys, welcome to Kidneys Part 2, and today I'm going to be talking about the excretory system, uh, a little bit about the kidneys, uh, function of the kidneys, and some quick notes. Uh, the main aim for this lesson is just to give you a, a little bit of an overview on the kidneys, a little like uh, a more detailed overview, so that it helps you with the with topic number three and maintaining a balance. So there is some assumed knowledge, and that is osmoregulation and osmosis, as well as wastes and active and passive transport. So these three things are assumed knowledge and mostly it won't even come up but it's just stuff that you should already know. Okay, so let's move on. What is the excretory system? So the excretory system is a solution for rem uh, removing waste from our body. Excretory systems can be defined as groups of organs which function together to remove metabolic waste from the, from the tissues of an organism and expel them outside. So uh, what that's all that's saying is that uh, these system, this excretory system is a group of organs which aim to get rid of this waste which gets built up in tissues and through metabolic functions. So that's all excretory systems are. They remove waste from our body, from our tissues. Okay. So the kidney, it's, it's a part of the excretory system and the main function of a kidney is to filter out blood that enters it. So remaining waste from the bloodstream so that they can later be excreted. So it gets this blood from the bloodstream and it filters out anything that uh, we don't actually need and wastes and everything that, that's filtered out then gets excreted later on th through the urinal, uh, uterine tube and um, other than that everything that is needed it gets reabsorbed into the body so that's just a basic overview of the kidney and it's just a basic thing of what it does now I'm sure you've heard this before nephrons nephrons they're like the tiny millions of tiny units found in the kidney and they're considered the main functional unit so um the the kidney is is actually quite a uh, complex organ but the main thing that makes it work are these nephrons these nephrons are in charge of a lot of main functions of the kidney and therefore they're considered the main functional units okay so what is actually produced well Urine is the final excreted product, so uh, that's what, actu what, what is actually produced through the entire process of filtering out in the kidneys. And after it's produced, we ex just excrete it. So there's there's mammals, there's there's terrestrial mammals, and there's marine fish, and there's freshwater fish. All three produce urine in order to get rid of wastes um, from metabolic activity in the cells. And lastly, let's just sum up. Oxygenated first thing, oxygenated blood arrives at the kidney via renal artery and carries nitrogenous wastes. So, so when I say renal artery, it means that it's already uh, oxygenated and it's already inside the arteries. Um, just a good way to remember, arteries are the red ones away from the heart, and it gets carried and and it, and it carries nitrogenous wastes from the cells already and from all the buildup. And then secondly, the kidney filters this as well as waste and other solutes are filtered to form urine as I said before. Now, this process I haven't gone too deep into, but um I can assure you that it's it's quite it's it's actually quite a big process. It has it has multiple stages, goes through multiple tubules and at the end we get urine. And there's a thousand different things that actually happen in between before actually filtering out and getting urine. So uh, I'm sure I'll explain it next in the next part uh, a little bit more in detail, but this is just a quick overview to help you guys understand a little bit more about the kidneys. Okay, and lastly, part number three, um, the kidney is then drained by two vessels. There's one which is the renal vein, which is purified blood back to the heart, which means that the veins which have the valves and then goes back to the heart, as you've probably learnt, learnt before. And then you've got the ureter, which carries urine um, out of the kidney. So all it does is the ureter gets the urine from the kidney outside so it can be excreted. That's all it is. So that's the three basic stages of the kidney. And I reckon this is all you really need to um, have an overview on. And then later on we'll have a, a deeper understanding about this one. Okay, cool. Let's move on. There's one final note that I wanted to say. The kidney does not only filter blood, it also osmoregulates. So that's something that you really need to remember. Because since the kidney has multiple stages of reabsorption and it has a lot of salt concentration stuff in, in play, it actually allows for the body to osmoregulate. So if we had if we had too much water in our in our cells in our body, then it will get excreted by the kidneys. If we had 
uh, too little water, then what would happen is that the kidneys would try and conserve this water. Now, um, you might have learnt this from my previous videos about ADH and adulsterone, which actually discuss how this works. Anyways, um, that's it for today. Uh, that's all it is for Kidneys Part 2, and I hope I can teach you more in Kidneys Part 3. Thank you.